guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Deidre and thank you so much for joining me today as you guys read by the title I am going to be unboxing in a way the Chanel Lake Cotton cotton pads and these have been all over YouTube they've been all over TikTok I want to say they started from TikTok somebody bought them they're the most inexpensive thing off the Chanel website and because I am easily influenced by things that I see on YouTube I decided I wanted to pick these up myself now what I will say is I tried to buy these at some point last year, but when I went to the website, they were all sold out. As recently as this month, I visited the website once more and they were in stock. So I said I needed to get them, right? It only makes sense, right? They're pretty inexpensive for Chanel, but maybe a little bit overpriced for your typical regular cotton pad that you might pick up from a Walmart. So when I placed my order, I wanna say it was around last Monday, and then I got them on Friday of that week. So it was relatively quick shipping. But on the website, it says these are exquisitely soft, three layer cotton pads ideally used for their Chanel makeup removers, cleansers, and toners. In addition, it says that it's composed of entwined elastic fibers for that ultra plush feel and they're highly absorbent and they don't leave lint. Now that's the part that I feel like is a little questionable because I did try them and they did leave lint, but not maybe, maybe not as much as what you would get from Walmart. So other cotton pads that I've tried definitely left a lot more lint, I will say, and sometimes they will break up. These fortunately will not break up on you. So I will say that, that that's, that's key. And then of course it says that it's embossed with their double C monogram. So also a super cute touch when it comes to these. Again, on the website, these retail for $20. And I want to say that with my shipping, it came out to around $27, just in case you're wondering. And I'm not really sure if they like tax the same in every state, but mine came to around $27 just as an FYI. I wanna say on the website too that it says that you're supposed to get samples, but I never did receive the samples in my box. And trust me, I like went through all of the fluff and I'm like, I don't see any samples, but it says it was supposed to come with it. So like, Chanel, why you do me dirty? And yeah, that's pretty much what the website says about them. I feel like when I first went to buy these, they were completely sold out. But now that the hype is gone, I'm probably like the last person on earth to do a video about this. They are still in stock. So if you're interested in getting these Chanel cotton swabs, they are still on the website as of today. I think today is the 24th of March. So if you want them, go get them while you can. And I will say these are incredibly soft just from when I tried them, but they did leave some cotton residue on my face and I hate when that happens especially when you're trying to apply makeup it's like I got to take a lint roller to my face so just be prepared for that but I guess it didn't leave as much and as you can see these are pretty oh my god <laughs> right as I was saying that these are pretty tough they just broke on me you know how with other cotton cotton rounds that you'll get from Walmart those will break up on you when you put on whatever you're using it for. So for example, if I'm using my toner, it, they'll like break up like this. I literally just ripped this apart. So do with that what you will. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and grab a new one that I didn't actually rip. So these are them. Again, they're really soft. As you can see, they're pretty thick. Um, it did feel good going on my face. Now, the website did mention that you can probably use something like this with a makeup remover. You can use something like this. I personally wouldn't use a cotton pad to remove my makeup because I just feel like fibers, no matter what, are going to get in my skin. And I absolutely hate when that happens. So I don't know that I'll be removing makeup with this. Toners, 1000%. There's really nothing too special about these aside from the fact that they're from Chanel. Um, they almost feel pretty much similar to a regular cotton swab. So I'm glad that I tried them just so I can let you guys know, is it worth the 20 bucks? You decide. If you guys are interested in someone buying the most inexpensive thing off of designers websites, then this is not the channel for you. I don't know that I see me doing this again. I mean, granted, I'm gonna use them, but once the box is over, I can see me going back to my regular $1.99 cotton swabs from Walmart. I personally can't say that these are just life-changing, this groundbreaking cotton swab. <laughs> I personally can't say that, but you know, if you're interested in this sort of thing, get caught up in the hype like I do, then why not go ahead and spend 20 bucks, $27, under $30 for these Chanel cotton swabs. When I run out of this box, will I run back to Chanel's website to purchase more? Probably not. They're just cool to have. And oftentimes, I just want to look at it. 
you like when a brand gives you all of the little details, then you will enjoy something like this. This is not something that you have to have. It was just something that I wanted to try and I wanted to bring it to you guys. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like videos like this, then do all of the things that the YouTubers tell you to do. You know what those things are. That's like, comment, share, and subscribe. That was a lot of unnecessary fun, but I had fun. Until next time, guys. Bye. It was only $20. That's my that's my El Famous burrito order. I can do it. Yeah, there's really not much to say about it. You use cotton swabs to remove your makeup. I wouldn't do that. Don't nobody got time for that. Before a good toner, you can do it.